The N64 earned its reputation as the go-to console for multiplayer games. It was also the console where the bloody Turok games were born. This not only disproved the stereotype of the system being a kiddie console, but also provided us with another great addition to the library of fun multiplayer games. This is Turok Rage Wars for the Nintendo 64. The game is set in the Turok universe, but there's no story to it as it's actually a multiplayer only game. The development company Acclaim made Rage Wars in 1999 for a few different reasons. Turok 3 wouldn't be ready until two years after Turok 2, which would have broken the cycle of Turok being an annual franchise on the console, which of course was broken anyway in the sixth generation, but it was much more than a filler. It was also made to further expand on the multiplayer deathmatch that was introduced in Turok 2. And since this was an exclusively multiplayer game, Acclaim was able to accomplish this mission. The game looks as good as you'd expect for 1999, meaning that it looks great for the time while still clearly being a 5th gen title. The environments are clear and the characters and effects look solid. You can play this game without the expansion pack, but you won't want to. It's a very graphically demanding game. So without the expansion pack, it ends up looking like a PS1 game. Ooh. Chill out, Salem. My point is, just play this game with the expansion pack. Better yet, if you're looking to get an N64, make sure it has an expansion pack anyway. It's worth having. The game is good in terms of sound. The music may not be really exciting multiplayer music that you would find in GoldenEye, but it does have a sense of Turok-style eeriness to it that makes for great atmosphere. That blend of sci-fi and jungle themes. It actually further highlights the badass sounds of all the guns you use and the dark feel of the environments you're in. The voice verbs characters make when getting shot adds a nice touch too. The game does have a single player or co-op mode that's good for fighting bosses and to get some training in, but really it's just a small distraction. Rage Wars is made to be an exclusively multiplayer game. It supports up to 4 human players or 1 human player with up to 3 bots whose skill level can be adjusted to your preference. It's easy enough to customize everything and get a match started, and once you're in, you'll find yourself in well-designed multiplayer gameplay. There's a nice mix of sci-fi and modern weapons here, though it's mostly sci-fi. I like this though because the laser and rocket launcher weapons are especially fun to use to decimate your enemies. You'll probably burn through your ammo fast, but it adds to the frantic fun of the game since the maps are small enough and so full of pickups that it's easy to find refills for everything. Although the maps are small, they're also really well made with multiple levels to them and different paths to take as well as dynamic elements like pools of lava or water paths. And I gotta say, it's pretty cool to be able to shoot other players while underwater, which is something even modern shooters don't do often. The characters you can play as or bring in as bots add more uniqueness to the game to complement the weapons and maps, and with so many of each to choose from, you could end up playing this game for a while. I do like mixing it up by playing as a human fighting against some weird alien troops and a raptor who runs around slashing everyone. The one issue people might have playing this game now is the controls, as it can be awkward to move with the C buttons and aim with the control stick. You can change the controls to move with the control stick and tilt up and down with the C buttons, but that's still not as smooth as modern two-stick controls. It's something to get adjusted to for any N64 shooter though. The maps themselves are divided into four modes, Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, and Monkey, all of which are fun for their own reasons. Capture the Flag is much faster here though since these maps are even smaller and the flag and capture points are always in the same place. On one hand it's disappointing to have small maps for Capture the Flag, but it means everyone has to be more aggressive to be the one who scores each point. Monkey really surprised me. I didn't know what I was getting into when I chose a map from this mode. When I started the match, I was a chicken! No, literally, there's always one player in the form of a chicken or a monkey, and you can only change back by landing on a glowing pad and passing the curse on to another random player. Players can kill each other again here, but the way to win is to kill whoever is the chicken. It's a fantastic, hilarious, and unexpected mode to bring some humor into an otherwise dark and eerie game. <laughs> Dinner time! We're having KFC tonight! If you're looking to increase your inventory of N64 multiplayer games to play when you feel like reliving the 90s, this is a good game to add. I've seen a lot of people try to sell this game online for $60, $100, or even $200. I think this is too much to ask for this game when other places like JJGames.com sell it for a much more reasonable price range of $6 to $13. In fact, today's magic link will be where you can buy this game on JJ Games. If you want me to review the Turok trilogy on the N64, say so in the comments below and I'll consider it. But in the meantime, that's my review of Turok Rage Wars for the Nintendo 64. If you like this review, check out my previous reviews of another N64 multiplayer classic shooter GoldenEye and another dinosaur sci-fi hybrid game Star Fox Adventures for the GameCube. See you all next time! Hasta la vista, baby.